Hello and welcome back to Jesse Goes Sue. My name is Jesse. So if you can tell by my cash bar here, I haven't spent my coins in quite a bit. I mean, I've been using some of these bonus items, but I did not like the capsule event for Halloween last month. That was, the characters were creepy and honestly, as powerful as they may have been, I did not want to look at them as I was scrolling past to, to find Sooms to play with. Um, and I also didn't really feel the need to level up or get new of the masquerade zooms because I don't see myself using them too much outside of the events where I had to. So today I've got some money burning a hole in my pocket and I think it's time for me to go to the store because we've got some new characters this month. The Evil Queen and Magic Mirror. So this is another one of those two skill ones, kind of like Bluebird and Cinderella. I know there's other ones, but she's the only one I have so far. So it activates two separate skills. We've got Sea Witch Ursula, um, who looks like she clears several, uh, random assumes several times. Interesting. So I'll have to see what that means. Hopefully I get her. And Yzma. And <laughs> I just love the description. A witch who was fired by Emperor Cusco for no reason. Um, Emperor's New Groove is one of my favorite all-time movies. And just seeing the fact that there's an Yzma Soom, <laughs> I'm... I am very excited about this. So anyway, it looks like she appears and clears surrounding zooms for big points when connected. Um, anyway, I'm hoping for any or all of these. And let's see what happens. I might have to do a couple of them. All right, another Mulan. Oh, not another Mulan. Oh, okay, because I have, uh, I have, uh, what was it, Jian Wu? So now I have an actual Mulan one. Okay, cool. So you guys will get to see me play with her at some point. Oh, awesome. Evil Queen and Magic Mirror. And you know what? I'm going to stop my purchasing right now. And let's just get right into a game with her, shall we? All right, so it activates two separate skills. Um, I know the description said what they were. All right. So Evil Queen turns into Evil Queen in disguise for a short time. Connects to Evil Queen in disguise zooms to clear surrounding zooms. So I guess maybe it has like one of those little fireburst or explosion kind of things that clears surrounding zooms. Um, similar to the Masquerade Cinderella or... Um, the Birthday Anna or Maleficent zooms do. Skill number two is the Magic Mirror, and it clears all of one randomly selected kind of zoom. Also, clearing evil's queen in disguise zooms charges the gauge, making a poison apple appear that clears the center of the screen. Activate Magic Mirror skill when the Evil Queen skill is active and Evil Queen in Disguise assumes will always be selected. Oh, okay. All right, clear a lot and get big points. All right, you know what? We're going to see how this goes. So um, for my first time when I play with Sooms, I do not add anything extra in. I don't add any boosters because I just kind of want to play with them and get a sense for how it works, you know? Um, and on, as a bonus, I still haven't finished one of the missions, so I can get a little extra bonus on top of whatever I earn from her. All right, so these are the mirror zooms, and then we also have the Evil Queen as separate ones. That's what they mean by the two separate zooms. Across the bottom, you can see there's two separate meters. It's like one meter split in half, but they um, each count their own separate zoom. So I can activate them separately, which means that I have to tap the separate portion of... Okay, so... Nope, I can't collect these. Okay. So I am going to, well, anyway, so I have to tap the separate portion of the tank, you know, to activate these. But another thing to keep in mind, like I do with other zooms, is I'm going to want more of the Evil Queen on the screen when I do that, right? Because I can't connect her to nothing. Quick update, after playing a few more games with her, I discovered you actually can connect some of the Queen in Disguise zooms if they're not right next to each other. 
Yeah, so that's going to be assume, I think, where before I activate her, I am going to want her to be more on the screen because I'm trying to make chains with her. And she, the evil queen and the old witch have to connect to each other, right? So without the evil queen on the screen, there's nothing to connect to. So now let's, okay, there we go. So now that there's, oh my gosh, that was a massive burst. Okay. All right, so now that she was on the screen, right, you could, if, like there were more of them, you could actually, I could connect them together and see what they actually did. So it says activate them together. All right, I did not get to do it that time. That was not my greatest showing. Um, I think I sort of have a hang of her more, so I'm going to try this again with y'all right now. Just to see how this goes again. I only cleared 397 zooms, which is fine. That was not really my goal, but just and an average game with some of my other zooms, you know, I clear about 500. So that's this was just slow going. Again, my first game, I don't really have the hang of her. I definitely want to see if I can fill both of their meters. Maybe I'll wait to do that and I'll fill them both together so that I can... Um, I can activate both of those skills at the same time, right? All right, so I'm going to fill them both. I'm not entirely sure how many it takes to fill them. That was about eight now. So I think it's going to take like 16 to fill each of them or something. You know what I mean? All right, so one of them is filled. The other is filled. I think I do her first. And then I activate the mirror because it said it will automatically clear her. And look, yeah, it clears that massive burst too while I'm at it. Okay, so that meter is like super short, which I'm sure if I had another skill, um, well, you know, like if I if I got another one of the zooms, um, I'm sure the skill level like makes the meter go for longer, you know, whatever. So let's see. But I do like her burst skill. I mean, it clears like really quickly. I am not doing so great with this. So it just takes a long time to fill these at first, you know, so... I do this. I think I'm I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do this cuz I want to play with some of those bursts more. Like if I can make some of those chains, like look at that. It like it clears this whole big section. I want to uh I was trying to fill up whatever meter it was talking about that poison apple thing. I mean, I don't know. That might be a more advanced thing than my skill set at the moment. Okay. So I got that. There's lots of queens on the screen. Let's see if I can just like get a bunch of her all at the same time. Uh, no poison apple. I'm going to get there, you guys. One day I am going to get there. It's going to be glorious. <laughs> all right, 784 coins, about uh, 1.5 million points. They did say she's going to be a big point one. I'm just going to have to get used to playing with her. And I also think if I get another one of her in the box, that's going to be super helpful. Okay, so I cleared 900 zooms, uh, 910 zooms total in two games. The other was 397, so let's say about 400. So this one I did clear over 500. It was definitely a bit of a smoother game. Um, but anyway, that was some play with the evil queen and mirror zoom. So now you got to see that, and I got to see that too. <laughs> Look at us all learning together. Anyway, um, if you have any tips for playing this character, since I'm clearly brand new to her, uh, drop them in the comments and let me know. All right, so I decided to do one more game now, and I am just going to throw the 5-4 at it. I think this game is probably going to be more fun when she's higher skill, but I also think it's going to be better if I don't have as many zooms on the screen, and that way I'll be able to activate everything more quickly. I really want to see what it's like when I fill that meter they were talking about at the bottom, which I finally noticed, and I'll point out to you, um, and just see if I can get some better gameplay with this right now, so we can really see, like, the full power of what she has to offer. So, I am going to wait to collect both of them together, because it says activating the mirror, um, once I already have the e evil queen activated is the way to go because it clears like the entire screen. So watch this. So I'm going to activate the evil queen. There's a little meter in the bottom that has like that poison apple on it. And so I think that's what they're talking about. It keeps filling. But look at this. So like that's, ah. all right. Well, it cleared the entire screen when I did that, as you saw. 
All right, so let's do this again. And so that meter at the bottom, all right, so I'm clearing this entire screen right now. That meter keeps jumping up, but it looks like it might stay consistent for like, oh, hey, poison apple, okay. It looks like it might build over a couple of games. Like I don't think I have to fill it all at once, it doesn't look like. You can also tell here too, like, okay, well that's awesome. It clears like the entire screen. Perfect. Um, it also doesn't, I don't remember what I was saying. Okay. So I'm going to activate the queen again. Activate this. What is that? Yeah, so that meter, I don't think I have to fill it at once. I think it's just going to keep like filling as I play. But see how much quicker I'm making it to <laughs> do these skill activations and stuff. I'm trying to get the queen. Um activate her the one thing I wish which of course is like I can't do anything about it I wish the queen were at the bottom part of the screen um like that lower half oh another poison apple yay um and the reason for that is because if I want to activate them in order for some reason I like tend to go towards the bottom right before I go towards the top right so that to me that just seems like if you want to activate them in a certain order that would have been just helpful <laughs> you know <laughs> Sorry, I get very <laughs> animated when I can't fill this right away. So you'll notice again, only half of that square activates when I press it because you have to make sure to like actively tap on just the part that you want to be happening right now. Um, if you tap somewhere in the middle, you don't know which one you're going to get. And if you accidentally tap the wrong one, you accidentally tap the wrong one. You know what I mean? So that's just something to be aware of for these double. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, we go. Oh, good. I got the thing. So if I tap the mirror just on its own again, it clears one entire kind of zoom. I have enough on the screen right now that I can make the most of this skill. So I tapped one more. Look at that. So over 5 million points, it's going to be 7.4 million now without... Um, adding anything to it and if you see very faint at the top it's 31 3100 coins i am not going to continue for right now but look at this this is level three of a brand new zoom that you can see i barely know how to use and i'm already cracking 7.4 million points with it so we'll get an extra little bonus there um yeah, level four. Okay, so barely, barely out of the gate with this in terms of score. And I have a feeling if I threw a score thing at this, if I got a couple higher levels, you know, maybe I'll just level her up right now. Um, I'm going to be doing pretty well with this. So I hope this was a much more like accurate gauge of what this Zoom can do as opposed to these, the uh, other two games I played. So thanks for sticking around with me for this one. And I'll see you next time.